Thanks you guys so much for being here. Today we're talking a little bit about farm safety. So I guess one of the biggest questions I have is how do you guys keep your husband safe, keep yourself safe, and keep your kids safe on a daily basis when your livelihood is a dangerous occupation? I think communication is one of the biggest keys. Um, my kids are a little bit older, so we do run with walkie-talkies. Um, we make sure we know where they are. I make sure to let them know if there's trucks coming through the yard, or if there's tractors moving, that they know to move. Because people driving those don't always see them. They don't always know they're there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not always their fault if something happens. So the kids have to be aware as well. How about you, Ben? Lots of prayers. Um, communication is, is key. Um, we know where everybody is at all times on our farm. Um, we call each other when somebody's going from the barn to the field or to work on machinery, um, to go up in the haymow. Everybody always knows where everybody else is. That's good. Can you think of one thing that is like a no-go, off-limits, that you have said to your kids, this is not an option, you will not do this? For me, it's the silos. They will not climb the silos. And I know probably all the men that watch this are going to be like, she's a little crazy. Yes. <laughs> because um, there is a platform at the top of, of the silo, but we have 90-foot silos, we have 70-foot silos, and I just don't think that's any place for kids to be. No. So they know. They've climbed up a couple rungs, and it's uh, if I catch them, they're not doing it again. And the same on our dairy, um, we try to keep the kids over in the play area and away from the parlor and the freestyle barns. Everybody wants to see cows, so we'll do gator rides where everybody is safely put in the back of the gator and we'll go out and drive by them. But even uh, with the calves, I'm always nervous because um, not that uh, our calves are sick or anything, but if they would touch a sick one and then go to the next one and then the next one, then I have a whole bunch of sick calves. <laughs> And the other thing that we always have to remember too is when we have kids over it that they have no farm exposure. So whatever is on their hands and if they're putting it in their mouth, there there oh, sure. is a possibility that they can get sick. Oh, right. I think too, mine are so curious. You know, so when we do go to other farms, they are very curious. They don't know what the dangers could be or how things are moving. Um, mm -hmm. But when I do have other kids at my house, it's I don't let them out of my sight, let alone my reach just because they're not used to the dangers on the farm. They don't know, you know, they could be stepping on the lids for the manure pit, you know, mm -hmm. and that's, that to me is dangerous because what if it does give way? Right. You know, we keep them in good shape, but you just don't know what could happen. 